Han fortæller øh, historien om kongerne, der har brugt det som kloster til forskellige forbindelser, hovedsageligt som jaksler. Det gør man jo så ved hjælp af lyd og øh, lys, øh, for ligesom at illustrere det leben, der har været på, øh, på, øh, på klosteret tilbage i, øh, i 15, 16, 17, 1800-tallet, hvor det jo blev brugt øh, som et form for refugium for kongerne. Kom, kom, kom til vej. Kom og hør hen, kan jeg Since it's a community-based project, the idea was to collect the stories that related to the various sites in the region, and uh, that's what we did. In some ways, it's like a sound comic book. We were able to take advantage of the 3D sound space because um, it permitted us to move sound up and down as well as all around. So horses could uh, could travel around you. You know, you could uh, have a hunt. You could have a marching band. The local horn is making a beautiful sound on this instrument. Uh, the horses that you hear are the sounds of a riding school. Every step we took was with the community. We have chosen to fortælle nogle øh, nye beretninger, eller anderledes beretninger om, om kulturarven i vores område. Og på den måde håber vi på, at vi får sat en ny formidlingsform i gang, som bliver en, hvad kan man sige, årlig tilbagevindende begivenhed. Peter, thank you for your act. It was wonderful. Uh, thank you very much. And Charlie, I'm very pleased to have worked with you. And many, many people in the community who created this piece. Uh, piece grew up right out of the ground. Right here. Oh, beautiful cosplay. At med det her 3D lydprojekt får vi også nogle lokale kompetencer, som gør, at vi bliver i stand til at arbejde videre selv.